Hello, today I'm going to give you a priestly view on the Israel Hamas war. You know, the ongoing conflict between Israel and the Hamas has been a topic of discussion among religious leaders and scholars. The Jewish law of war, which is based on the biblical text, has a lot to say about the war, whether the war is permissible, whether its actions are permitted or forbidden in, in the context of war, and what values must be upheld even in the midst of a life or death struggle. So, what I want to tell you today is that the Torah, I mean the first five books of the Bible, expects and occasionally celebrates war. Now, with God's description as Ish Mirhamak, a Hebrew translation for a man of war or the god of war who fights for Israel's sides against his enemies. It can tell you that yes war is shown in the Bible and could be acceptable or not acceptable. However, today I'm going to discuss with you about how the Jewish law is also self-contradicting and will disappoint those, the hawks and the doves, as it is commonly used in the description of people's view about military conflicts. Now, in Christianity, the opinion on the conflict and how to take war is varied. Some Christians believe that in a military, in a military action, uh, this is wrong and this is right, and while others are informed by their different views of war uh, on their theories. But I want to tell you that war is always awful but uh, can be morally justified under certain circumstances. So it is important to note that the conflict between Israel and Hamas is a complex issue with many factors at play. For example, while religious leaders believe and inform us that the opinion of war is essential to consider when you bring peace. It can also be another opinion. What does the Bible say? I always believe in what the Bible says because the Bible contains many verses that condemn violence or war. And here are examples. For example, Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17. It says, No weapon that is formed against you will succeed and every tongue that rises against you in judgment will be condemned so the peace that means this peace the righteousness the security the triumph over opposition is a heritage of the servants of the lord that's uh, uh that's in isaiah chapter 54 and verse, th verse 17. secondly matthew chapter 24 and verse 6 to 8 tells us that and you shall hear the wars and the rumors of wars see that you be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for nations shall rise against nations kingdoms against kingdoms and earthquakes uh, in, in different places all these are the beginning of sorrows so my friend it is an important thing to note that the Bible is a complex a complex text that has many interpretations while these verses may be interpreted uh, as condemning war others may be interpreted differently but I want to tell you my friend personally I tell you that there is no peace in war and therefore may the peace of God which goes beyond the understanding of any person rest upon you may it rest upon Israel may this peace rest on you and never depart from you now and forevermore Amen.